Okay, let's get you to get better in algebra. That is the whole point of you watching this video. And how do you get better in anything? Well, you have to practice, but you have to practice, uh, you know, the correct form, right? Just like sports, if you're playing basketball or baseball, you just don't want to, you know, do something, uh, you know, incorrectly over and over and over again. That's not effective practice. You want to learn how to do something and then practice that over and over and over again. So that's what we're going to be doing in this particular video. We are going to graph this linear equation or an equation of a line. So if you think you can graph this, go ahead and uh, pause the video and just quickly take out a piece of paper and a pencil. It would take you all about, I don't know, 45 seconds to come up with a quick sketch of this line, but we're gonna get into this in just one second. I will say this much, you must absolutely know how to graph lines, linear equations, and algebra. Okay, so this is a definitely you know, a must-know skill. And if you're not quite sure, we'll stick around for a couple minutes. You will uh, definitely understand how to graph uh, something like this. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are having a tough time in math, okay, for whatever reason, maybe you don't think you're good in math, I'm here to tell you uh, that's not true, okay? You're you know, I know you believe that, right? If you do happen to believe that, but that's not true, okay? What you just need to find the right path forward to be successful, and there is a path forward. So if you don't feel like you get enough math instruction, um, you know, in your uh, class or your school, or maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's teaching style, whatever the case might be, I can help you out. I've been teaching math for decades. I break things down in their simplest components, clear and understandable bite-sized pieces. So Anyone, everyone can understand this stuff and just kind of build up from there. So if you have the desire to learn mathematics, I can help you out. So um, if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. You can definitely uh, benefit from it in your respective math courses. Now, if you um, are preparing for any test that has a math section, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace or CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, I can help you uh, big time prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you definitely got to check out my homeschool math uh, courses and curriculum. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But if you want excellent grades in math, you must learn how to take excellent math notes. Okay, this is an absolute requirement for you to be successful in mathematics. All right, let's get into it. So let's take a look at the problem. So when we're graphing, now this is just a quick overview of this. I mean, this is not going to replace, you know, a complete full lesson on graphing linear equations. There's a lot of things in, that go into that. So if you really want a full thorough re, uh, review, um, you want to go ahead and check out like my algebra course, okay, or pre-algebra course or my other algebra courses. All right, so we want to graph this linear equation. Now, I'm calling a linear equation. Let me write that out for you real quick. A linear equation. Now, that's what it's technically called, but if we just think about this uh, word, the words here, linear means like a line. It says like a line equation. Okay, so this is an equation. It has x and y, an equal sign. So we can graph this. And when we graph this, it's going to... Uh, the 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 it, the shape of this okay is a line okay the line represents this equation i.e. a linear equation now you can see here I have kind of basically two options you can go right you can take this uh, a linear equation this line and solve for y and put it into y equals mx plus b form now currently it's not in y equals mx plus b form so a, a, a line a linear equation that would be would be something like uh, y equals one half x plus five. Okay, this line right here, or this linear equation, is in y equals mx plus b form, and uh, we love uh, lines that are in this form because it's very easy to graph. Okay, we just like okay, we can just do this, follow that, one, two, three. Uh, you know, we'll have our graph. So, but uh, you know, not all lines are going to be in this form. However, or linear equations are going to be in a form. We can take this and rewrite it into this form and come up with something like that and graph it. So that's one approach uh, to do that. But a better approach is to recognize that our uh, linear equation right here happens to be in something called standard form, which happens to be this, ax plus by is equal to c. We, we have these nice integer values in front of x and y, 
just like in this uh, format right here. So uh, it's very easy for us to find the X and Y intercepts in this form, and this is an excellent uh, technique. Now, the X and Y intercepts, let me just draw a little uh, XY uh, sketch here, XY plane. So if I have a line right there, the y-intercept is the point where the line chops through the y-axis, and the x-intercept is the point where the line chops through the x-axis. So I just need two points to graph a line. So I can get these x and y-intercept points pretty easily when a line is in standard form. Okay, so this is the technique I'm going to be using, this uh, procedure. So you need to know both. But I'm just curious, how many of you um, would have used this uh, technique? How many of you were, you know, just put that into the comment section. Be like, yeah, no, I still prefer to put this into Y equals MX plus B form. So if that's your preferred way, well, I'm here to tell you that's okay, but you need to know both techniques, okay? All right, so let's get into how we use uh, the um, XY intercept form. Uh, to uh, graph this line. It's very easy. So what you want to do is set up a table. Now you, I have this table set up, but you can just do it, reconstruct it right here. You make an X, you make a Y, you make an align. You're going to put a zero for X and a zero for Y. Okay, so you're going to put a zero for X, a zero for Y, and then we're going to go ahead and figure out what uh, when X is zero, what's Y, and when Y is zero, what's X. Okay, so let's see how this works. Let's focus first on when X is zero. Okay. So when X is zero, I'm going to plug a zero in right there. All right, so what happens? I get two times zero, that's what's going on right here, plus four Y is equal to eight. So two times zero is zero, so I'm just left with this beautiful little equation right here, four Y is equal to eight, and when I solve for Y, I get Y is equal to two, okay? So when X was zero, Y was two. All right, so I'm filling out my table right there, boom. And then we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to... We're going to go to our little um, our, our linear equation, and we're going to plug in 0 for y, okay, and then solve for x. So that's going to be 4 times 0 right there, which, of course, is 0. Right? That leaves me with 2x is equal to 8, okay, so 2x is equal to 8. And let me scroll down here. You can see when I divide both sides of the equation by 2, I get x is equal to 4, okay? So when y was 0, x is 4. So these are our two points, okay? So 0, 2, 4, 0. So you want to fill out this table. So what does this mean, though? So well, I'm going to show you that right now, okay? So here is our work, all right? When x was 0, y is 2. When y was 0, x is 4. So this 0, 2 is the coordinate 0, 2. It's the x, y point. This x, y table, these are, in fact, x, y coordinates okay now you can plug in any values other than zero you can have a table of values like this x and y and if you wanted it to be like okay negative two negative one uh zero one and two and then plug those x values and get a bunch of y values you could do that that's that's actually a good technique to know to uh, graph anything is to create a table of values, but we don't need all these points. How many points do you need to graph a line? Well, if I got one point and another point, I just need two points to graph a line. I just need two points that are on that line. And the two points that you always want to work with in math, okay, zero is the best one because it's so easy to work with, okay? And then one is another great number to work with, but we used a zero and we only need two uh, rows for our little table here. Okay. All right. So zero, two and four, zero, we're going to plot those points and we're going to see that, uh, these are the X and Y intercepts. So here is zero, two. Okay. We plot that X is zero. Y is two. So what point is this? Okay. What axis is this going through? This is going through the Y intercept. Okay. This, or this is the Y intercept. It's going through the Y axis. So you find the Y intercept by letting X equal to zero. Okay. And our other point was four zero. And that point is what? Well, that is the X intercept. That's the uh, point that the line is chopping through the X axis. So I have my point here, my point there, and I draw my line through those two points and I have graphed my lovely line, okay? All right, so how many of you figured this out? Now here, let me just say this much. If you wrote your equation in Y equals MX plus B form, you would still have the same line but different points, okay? You'd still have two though, 
as your y-intercept. That's will be the case, and then you'll have a negative slope, and you know you should basically get the same shape, right? So I'm not going to go through this this way, but you need to know both techniques. But if you got this right, well, I must go ahead and give you a good old 19. Well, I'm going to think I'm going to give you a 1988 Mohawk. I think that's maybe those Mohawks were kind of getting phased out about that year. Um, I uh, was already in the United States Marine Corps in 1988. Of course, I did not have a mohawk. As a matter of fact, I had no hair. But nice job. Maybe giving A plus. Okay, it's still you know when you look back in the 80s with fondness, and when our younger years were like, well, we wrote some crazy hair. You know, we thought it was cool, but I'm glad we don't see that around anymore. It just took too much hairspray, and um, you know, quite frankly, most of us that did wear hair like that don't have as much hair. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to do that with anymore but of course i'm speaking for myself but the bottom line is hey nice job okay so if you're not quite sure how to graph lines well you need to get sure okay because graphing lines graphing linear equations is an absolutely core skill in algebra okay and there's different techniques uh, but the, here's the worst thing you can do or the worst thing you can do is if you're confused all right about math in general you don't want to practice confusion you don't want to be like, okay, I was confused on how to do that problem. Let me try another problem. Hey, I'm still confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. Listen, anytime you, you're confused with a topic or whatnot, you have to stop and get clear on one problem and really understand the mechanics of it and then start slow and start practicing correctly. Okay, That's why it's so important to take notes, and that's why it's even more critically important to get excellent math instruction that's clear and understandable so anyways i can help you out with all of that but if this little video helped you out go ahead and smash that like button that definitely helps me out and if you're new to my youtube channel please consider subscribing i've been on youtube for 10 plus years have over a thousand plus math videos basic math all the way through calculus but my best my best math help will always be within my math help program okay so with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day